Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start GPU or CPU mining Ethereum here in 2024 in less than 10 minutes. So if that all sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video to, so you don't miss out on any of the great ways to earn more Ethereum quicker using this site and service. So with that being said, before we dive into the video, I always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap just taking a look at what's going on in cryptocurrency as a point of reference if you are watching this in the future. So if you're not interested in this, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the site then. But overall, as you can see, it's been a relatively good day in cryptocurrency up about 2.55 trillion to 2.16%. And here you can see bitcoin doing pretty well leading the charge it up uh to over three percent today uh ethereum actually down just a little bit so a lot of people think that ethereum could hit or cross ten thousand dollars in this year's bull run uh, of course that's usually kicked off by bitcoin having which is coming here in about 15 days according to this countdown so now could be a great time to start mining ethereum and stockpiling it so that you're more prepared when the bull run does get here now you might be thinking you can't mine ethereum anymore they switched to a pos algorithm uh, away from pow a couple years ago and yes you are correct but we actually have a site here called unminable which allows you to pretty much do what the title says mine coins that are not mineable traditionally so with that being said how do you get ethereum you essentially choose the most profitable algorithm for your computer uh, as you can see there's a ton of different algorithms here now if you aren't familiar with what is most profitable for you i would recommend checking out the site whattomine.com it's a great site that allows you to estimate how much you earn with any given hash rate and it tells you the most profitable for your hardware now, I personally know that for my hardware, which is, you know, an RTX 2080, the Kapow algorithm is going to be the best for profitability. This is actually mining a coin called AIPG, and what Unminable does is it goes ahead and converts that coin over into Ethereum and then pays you out. So, very, very cool. Now, how do you get started doing this? Essentially, what you're going to want to do is click this Get Started with our wizard here. You're going to have two options, basic and advanced. Basic is going to be more than plenty for 99% of people watching. Uh, if you do want to select your region, server, port, worker name, things like that, go ahead and go with advanced, but I'm going to use basic. Here you can see you select your mining hardware, CPU or GPU. I'm going to be going this uh, the GPU route. If you are going the CPU route, Feel free to choose that. The only difference is it's going to give you some other algorithms to choose from. So we're going to go with graphics card and Kapow. Here we're going to choose Ethereum and it's going to ask for your Ethereum wallet address. Go ahead and paste in your address here. And as you can see, there is a nice little call out saying, hey, it does look like your address is compatible with Ethereum. Please, please, please make sure to double check your address. If the address is incorrect here, you will not be able to get paid out. Unminable does a pretty good job at flagging addresses that are not compatible with the coin you're mining. So if you are putting in you know, a Bitcoin address or a Dogecoin address, you will get a flag most likely. But as always, please double check your address because even if Unminable thinks it's compatible and it ends up being wrong, you will not be able to get paid out. So go ahead and select next, and you're at the final step before doing the minor downloading configuration. Now, I do want to take a second to say I do have a referral code here, which is just Bitcoin-TIPS, capital B, capital T. If you decide to use that referral code, it does help out the channel, but it also helps you out in that you will save 25% on your pool fee. Traditionally here on Unminable, the pool fee is 1%, meaning if you were to mine 100 Ethereum coins, you'd probably be pretty happy, but you would be paying one whole Ethereum to Unminable. 
So that doesn't matter if Ethereum's $3,000 or $30,000. If you mine it in a day or in a year, you're always going to pay that 1% fee. So using this code actually lowers that down to 0.75 and you are saving that additional 0.25% of the fee, meaning you get to keep more of the Ethereum you work for. So feel free to use that code again, it's just Bitcoin-Tips. Go ahead and select next or if you don't want to use that code and you want to pay that higher fee, go ahead and select continue without referral code. And at this point you are at the final step, choosing your miner, downloading everything and getting it started. Now, I personally really like Gminer. It's worked really well for me in the past, and it's compatible with both major GPU manufacturers. If you choose another miner, please make sure that it does support your hardware. Uh, for example, Team Red here is only AMD, and T-Rex here is only NVIDIA. So keep that in mind when choosing your miner. But what you're going to want to do here is select Official Documentation or Miner Files. This is going to take you to the... Uh, GitHub release. Um, you know, if you go with the official documentation, you'll have to, you know, navigate around a little bit more, but, um, you know, that is there as well. So, uh, you know, download minor files. You can select the Windows 64.zip. This will download a file to your computer. Now, one other call out I want to have here is most browsers, Google Chrome, Edge, Firefox, whatever else you're using, will most likely flag this as an unverified file and ask you if you want to delete it from your downloads. You are going to have to allow this to download if you want to mine. If you are not comfortable doing that, unfortunately there is not a workaround. Uh, you do just have to let that through. Uh, and there is another step where you do have to let it through your antivirus program, which I'll talk about in a minute. but. Again, if you are not comfortable doing that, unfortunately there is no workaround. Um, you just would have to uh, choose not to mine with your computer. So once you download that, extract those zipped files. It will not work if you don't extract it. Go ahead and come back over to Unminable and select download the .bat file button. Again, this is going to download a file to your computer. You will most likely get that same error here on Google. Again, you will have to let it through if you want to continue mining. So very cool. At this point, all you have to do is drag and drop that file into the same folder as the minor files. What that's going to do is it's going to look, oh, I don't know why the uh, window uh, got stuck there, but anyways, that's going to look like this. It's unminable-eth-kapow-gminer.bat. At this point, it's in the folder with the mining application, my Gminer 43 Windows. Go ahead, double click this to start mining. Now this is going to pop up again saying, hey, Windows has protected your PC. You know, you're doing something that, you know, maybe you don't want to. You are going to have to go ahead and say more info and run anyway. So again, if you're not comfortable doing that, then you are going to have to just move on and not mine. But as you can see here, we are up and mining in less than 10 minutes here in the video. At this point, you can set your computer, let it go. Um, as long as it stays on and connected to the internet, you are mining Ethereum and will start to get paid out here through the pool. Now, just a few things I like to mention about mining here with Unminable. Uh, when you do go to close the miner, all you have to do is hit the X. If that is fully closed, you're not seeing this terminal window anymore. You know, it's not minimized, anything like that. It is that simple, you are done mining. Now, the reason I call this out is you may actually see speed and actually income reported on Unminable for up to an hour after you've closed the miner. That's completely normal. Just let it do its thing. You'll get a little bit of extra Ethereum and it will eventually show that you are no longer mining. And when you go to start the miner, it does take 15 to 30 minutes for the stats to show up on the pool. Again, that's completely normal, uh, but I do like to mention that here. So if you are interested in getting started mining Ethereum or any other coin that Unminable has to offer using this tutorial, both links are down below in the description. The link to Unminable as well as my referral code, which will save you that 25% on your pool mining fee. So if you do run into any issues, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to help try and troubleshoot and get you up and mining. 
So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the like button, the subscribe button, and if you're interested in supporting the channel, we do have channel memberships and the super thanks, which is greatly appreciated if you decide to use those. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.